Can you believe it? We're only six days out. Six days out. It's a sad thing, and it's a real thing, and I think the stress is finally starting to get to us. There's Nick, the roommate. Three years I've lived with this guy. One of the best decisions of my life right Mom, here. Mark's on his YouTube doing YouTube shit. <laughs> can you say shit on YouTube? You can say shit, but I'm gonna bleep it out. Oh, really? Shit. A little, little bleeper. He's on the YouTube. Bleep, bleep, bleep. YouTube and. Uh, so, right, I love you. I'll give you a call. Packing stuff up. Alright, bye. Come at the ends. Wow, you have so much stuff. Dude, I thought I, I cleaned up all my stuff. This is miserable. No, not yet. I don't even know. Where did you keep all this stuff? I don't, dude, I don't even know, man. It's coming out of my closet. It's growing. If someone wants to buy my PS4 and TV, please do. Your name. We never used any of these floaties. But we should have. That it is. That it is. Is. This, is this on your channel? I think they deserve to see my suit. This is the chicken suit. Pretty much cooked at this point. Pouring it in with the oven wow. macaroni. It's marinating for a couple hours. Slow cook. It's the key. Oh, nice fat bowl. And we're in business, ladies and gentlemen. If there's one thing to know about my roommate, he makes some bomb ass soup. Real good soup. So we are here, Fort Myers, and then we're gonna go all the way up through the Mississippi, through Baton Rouge, through Texas, and we're gonna land all the way over here. Right there. That's where we're going. California, baby! <laughs> Give him hell, Mark. <laughs> I'm getting that. That's going, that's going in the video. To the very end of the, the conference, and I was like, do I, how do I end this? I, really? Because I, I didn't have it mapped out in my mind. I didn't have the story mapped out, so I'm like, do I just sign off? Like, yeah. bye, you know, what do I say? So. Did you interview gamers too for their opinion? I didn't really interview anybody, unfortunately. Um, no, you did. I well. wish I, I wish I did. That's one thing that we gotta do is get more courageous with asking other people to be on camera, or just doing putting other people you on camera. Well. You did well. Confidence. It was fluid. Did you read off a document? A for the narration. I wrote it out, but I didn't read you off of it. All that? I wrote it all out. You wrote that whole thing. I wrote that whole fucking thing. You scripted like the. It's a whole page. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Thanks, man. It almost made me like gamers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was close. You guys are special in your own way, and I respect it. So yeah, so a lot going on right now. It's 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 crazy how much needs to be done in, in such a short period of time. Uh, I have two more days, two more days left in the office that I work at. So tomorrow's Friday. Monday's my last day where I say my final goodbyes, and it's it's all kind of just hitting me right now. Uh, how just how crazy this is right now. It's it's tough. It really is tough. Uh, I can't sit here and lie. There's definitely a lot going through my mind. I'm des definitely stressing out a little bit. So I went to the gym to relieve some of that stress. ran into a big problem with my car because it started making noises and so I took it into the dealership and they told me that I would have to pay this much to repair it. So I freaked out for a minute because I don't have that kind of money. That money was what I was going to spend on rent for California. So I ended up having to talk to my dad, went to an auto shop, uh, or not an auto shop, I guess you can call it an auto shop, but like a local mechanic. <laughs> at a local mechanic shop trying to lowball the dealership that tried to price quote me $1,500 for my car before I go out to California. We're not gonna let that happen, so we're here trying to undercut them and see if we can't get some cheaper work done. There's always a better way, folks. There's always a better way. This out, right? Hundreds of dollars on different items 
that, I mean, $350 for replacing the spark plugs. And then I go over to the mechanic that my dad knows. Are you, like, are you kidding me? And so here's what I told about too. Better deal, much better deal. I'm okay, so we got her all fixed up, everything's good. Another thing that's been kind of adding to my stress as of late is the fact that one of my videos, specifically the Ty Lopez video, got a ton of traction, as you can imagine. I used a celebrity's name, I used the word scam in there, and everyone loves scams, and everyone loves celebrities, so I did not see that coming, but that, that video essentially blew up. And look at this, look at these stats, so, Essentially, I was making like pennies from YouTube videos and then all of a sudden this video comes out and I literally, I, I, I'm like sleeping in bed and I check my phone and I look to see how many views were on it and it said, you know, an average 50 views were on there. But I go to bed and I wake up the next morning and there's like 700 views on this video. And I'm like, what? And so all of a sudden, then it goes to like a thousand, then two thousand, then three thousand. It's at like four thousand views right now, which is crazy compared to all of my other videos. So something clearly happened where Ty Lopez was doing some crazy marketing thing like he always does and then drove a bunch of traffic to that video. So uh, I made like ten bucks off that video. Kind of cool, right? So. Uh, who knows? I, I kind of I did the math and I thought, you know, what would it take to become a YouTube star? You know, 14 bucks. That's, you know, that that, that could probably pay for a couple meals. You know, I, I could probably go on a crazy shopping spree. So I did the I did the math and I thought, okay, you 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 make approximately uh, three to four dollars for every thousand views, according to Shay Carl, who's a, a big blogger. Uh, or a big vlogger on YouTube. And so look, I looked at my stats and I found that I was making you know about that same amount. And so I thought, okay, how many views would I need to get every day to make a sustainable living? And so I, I ran the numbers and I would have to get about 33,000 views a day in order to make a full-time income off of YouTube. Uh, it was not the plan initially, but that, that could be an option. So if you're able to bring in that much traffic, you could make a full-time income off of YouTube. Kind of cool. But there was an unintended consequence that came along with putting that video out there. And I didn't get the kind of reaction I thought and a lot of people did not like the video. A lot of people uh, said some mean things on there. They said I was a terrible actor. Some people called me the scam artist, worse than Ty Lopez. I mean, I, I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't scam anybody, come on. I, I, haven't asked, I haven't asked for anything. Like, I, I did, what did I do? So I don't know. But then I also had really positive reviews too. I had a ton of people post great stuff on there. Uh, and so, you know, the love-hate relationship is absolutely there. Once you do anything that's bold and opinionated and just goes out there and uh, stands up behind what you believe in, you're going to get attacked from both sides, both positively and negatively. So luckily, I think I got more positives than negatives, but it doesn't mean that, that there were, you know, negatives in there uh, sprinkled along the way. So a little... You know. Uh, I have a lot of work that still needs to be done. I still need to plan out this trip, the places that I'm going to stay. Uh, I've already been contacted, at, believe it or not, by a number of people for uh, places to live or for things to do while I'm there. Uh, you know, potentially I, I could already have a mentor there, which is great because that's definitely something I'm looking for. It's, it's a big goal of mine to find a mentor out there um, who has the things that I want, the values that I want. Uh, you know, the things that I aspire to do, I want to find in another person and then learn from that person. So that's a big part. So things are lining up, guys, uh, believe it or not. So I couldn't be more happy that I've decided to make this trip. Clearly, uh, a lot of things are falling into place, but it doesn't mean that something can't go wrong in the final hour. So stay tuned for more, uh, and I will see you guys on the next video. I am out for now. Boop.